We're here at uh, Stanwell Park Station. We're just about to do the viaduct on this 37 degree day. I need a train coming through. It's a freight train! Very smoke filled today. You want to just jump over here and walk along the station? I think we can just jump over here. Actually, someone's walking up the stairs there, so... Probably a hundred carriages. up the unorthodox way of jumping the fence here. I'd love to know where that road goes to up there. What do you reckon? The what? The other side of the tunnel, they tarred it though. Why, why would they tar it? it would have been a service road at one point. Surprised they just haven't left the dirt like on the other side. Alright, come around. No crossing. Only cross railway tracks via a bridge. Come around the other. I didn't realise how uh, short time. Yeah, how short this tunnel is. All right, what we're going to do? We're going to walk along Stanwell Park Station, and we're going to attack the Stanwell Park or Stanwell Creek Viaduct along this route this time around. I was here maybe about a month ago with my friend Jules. But we're going to do some drone shots today. And Mavericks has brought his drone, so considering it's a 37 degree day, smoke haze throughout the uh, sky here, the shortest possible route is what we want today. We're going to walk to the end and see if we can jump down off the track. Huge platform. I'd say all the people that live around here that work in, in Sydney. We've got a CCC camera on the side there. There's nothing above us at the moment. There's two on that pole over there. Nothing on our side. There is on the other side. Huh? It picks up over here. Well we could have come through that gate there. That's that's the gate that I was thinking about going on, but I actually like walking down here, so. We're going to walk back down that path now. That's what? We've got to come around and walk back down there. We could do that. No, no. We're going to go straight. We could, have, we could have come through there, I'm saying. I wanted to see what the platform looked like. Does it look like some sort of cave up there? In the cliffs in the top? Oh, there'd be some washouts underneath, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get some horns happening if uh, once the train comes from uh, south north, we'll get some trains blurt blurting their horns saying to keep off. North. Well, they're going to come from south, heading north, south down that way, yeah, yeah. Okay, danger, no crossing the tracks. It's not very high security. It's not like that padlock or anything. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we sh maybe should have gone down there. I don't know. What do you reckon, man? Down on that road, or? Well, we'll probably meet up there anyway. Keep walking. You 
think we will. Yeah, it's a pretty skinny line. Yeah, no, we'll go up there when we don't. Yeah. All right, next stop is the viaduct. Okay, we've just come down from the tracks. Left is the viaduct, and right up there is Samuel Park Station. We found this little stormwater drain, and it dog legs around to the right, so we thought we'd go and have a look and see where it leads us. I only brought the little EC11. What was that? What'd you do? Sound like a crazy jack or a thumb down. Remember the thumb downs? There could be some hobos up here. This will be in the middle of the tracks, I reckon. You reckon this is in the middle? Yeah. Tracks above us? Yeah. Oh, I still think it's on the side. It stinks. It does stink. That's your trap on the right, trap on the left, there's the wires. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and you reckon there's a trap up here as well? Yeah. No, the little stinker. Go, brother! Just grate it off, I think. Yeah, I know where to go. Yeah, it's just on the other side of the tracks, that's all. Doesn't go anywhere else. Would this have to be cleaned out? Oh, no, the water is too much for cleaning. Yeah. Maybe the grate on top, but. That would be good. around the side, anyway, so. Alright. Well, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> Well, I didn't know where it headed. Where it headed? This way. Okay. Let me know where to go. Be nice and cool in here for him. <whistles> right, whether it be stormwater drains or tunnels or caves or World War II forts, I just love anything underground. Straight back up again. And you have to get a lightning wind set. Oh. It's still weekend to drive around today. I plan on going everywhere when I have the time. Just remember, I'm a casual part-timer. If I don't work, I don't get paid. What was that? That didn't take long at all. Compared to the first time we did it a month ago with Jules, which took us an hour, a scenic route. This is probably a 15 minute walk if you're heading south from Samuel Park Station. And we've come to the Rail Corp of New South Wales, Samuel Park Substation. High voltage inside. A nice still day, no wind, so we should get some pretty amazing drone shots, I'd say. So if someone first came upon this and they didn't know anything about it, they'd go, oh yeah, nice bridge. And then you come to these little railings here and you think, wow, it's like a little place that you can actually walk down below. And then everything just opens up into platforms of lookouts. Look at the, the bricks that are cracking on the top. Yeah. So bricks that you see from here are from uh, the old brickworks on Carter Road, Homebush, where we used to go in the early 90s to actually drag cars just up from McDonald's there on uh, Parramatta Road. So a bit of history there. Could do with some weeding here. Okay, so you can go up that ladder there, Matt, and walk along that little thing there, or we just climb up over here, which is easy enough. Yeah. You want to just hold the edge there. Get you coming 
Okay. I don't even know, I don't even know why they bother. They could they could they could secure it a hell of a lot better than that, don't you reckon? Put that fence all the way across. Yeah, that's right, to there. That's it, you're not getting in. Yeah. You can also come up this ladder here. A little bit risky, as long as you don't catch yourself if you've got a belt anywhere on the side there. Now look look how far up we are from the bottom here. It gets deeper and deeper than I know, it just gets yeah. Once you get to the bottom. Even though it's probably safe, I still i I'm still pretty like wary of where I walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Down there, there's no coming back. No, there's no coming back. Jules pretty much froze up here when we got up to the middle one. So this is where they fixed the bridge in the 80s, I think, because oh. it was falling apart. Yeah. And this is holding it together. This was, so this was never here. So there's been extensive work on the edge here and everything. And this is where we came from. See up the top here? Yeah. So we came from the other side where the guys were in the um, stormwater drain with their skateboards. So we had to come across the bridge. So when he said you just walk across the bridge over the railway line, I thought no way we'll get hit by a train. But he said there's a, like a little access track just to the uh, to the edge of it. So. I wish that creek down down below was um, flowing a lot stronger. You come back here in winter when it's uh... yeah. There is a few videos online with it, um, not huge, but you know, nice water gushing down below. Just after decent rainfall. Yeah. That's right. Okay, this is where I'm thinking you start flying the drone from. If you go to the left here, we'll just watch the... and you get a nice view, so... Have a look underneath you. Yeah, I know. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Alright, we've got the train coming, so it's going to be above us. Yep. Oh. I walk along... Are you walking along a beam? There's, a be there's beams that you can... like this one here. If it does give way, at least you've got a beam underneath you. <laughs> there he comes. Just caught the top of it. Oh, I feel that. It vibrates it. Okay, we're up here in the middle of the Sandwell Creek Viaduct. Maverick has got his little drone off. There it goes. Has it got voice? No. No. How come you had voice that time at the malting? That's on um camera or video. You don't know if it's on camera or video or? It's on video now. Oh beautiful. You get some shots everywhere and then fly it up over, make sure you watch the lines above you and see if you can bring it down. How good are you to bring it down just on the other side there? It's nice and sturdy, isn't it? Yeah. That's going to get some great shots, I think. That's a brilliant place, unbelievable. How much history is here? Can you see the whole bridge from there? Oh, you're panning around. I'm interested to see if you can actually fly it over and how close you can get it to the archway on the other side. Let's see your top gun skills. So Matt Mavericks has come over from this side of the viaduct. He's come over to the western side. Ooh, you're close to that tree. Huh? Yeah, you cleared it now. Bring it down now. Yep, sweet. Perfect. Yep, bring it down. You're, you're, you're clear as. Yeah, drop it more. Drop it more. Drop it more. Okay, bring it towards me now. Oh man, Top Gun pilot. Reckon you can fly her in? Bring her in, Mavericks. Drop it. 
That's it. Oh. Head it back out again. Throw it back out that way. <laughs> That's brilliant. Nice flying text. Just heading down to the base of the Stanwell Creek Viaduct and we've come across a rat being caught in the wire here, in the, the meshing. I wonder oh, how it's the I'm I it's up the top somehow. I reckon it's falling from up here. You're right, you know. Come a cropper up there. Lost his balance, Danny went. Lost his balance. Someone's opened that strong box down there. Whatever that was in. Some beautiful crimson rosellas flying around. Someone's throwing some sleeper, some railway lines from the top down below into the bush. This was way before everything was... We looked upon everything being green and everything. I gather they were meant to put in bolts here, but never ended up doing it all the way along. Might, there might have been another, another beam. I've oh, been here. There. In the future they'll probably do it. Yeah. That's 80s workmanship. Yeah. Oh, this one sits underneath. Or something else. They've wrapped it all the way around. Yeah. They just extended it out to put the drawbridge on there. Some old... It would have been an anchor for the scaffolding or for the workers in case they fell off. I'd love to know what those ladders are for down there. They just go to nowhere. Go up a certain point. Unless there was some sort of ledge there. Alright, that's where we're going to head down. We're going to head down those steps there. And down the steps over there, I'm going to do some more drone shots from the bottom. You'll be happier when we get down to the bottom. <laughs> the top. We'll be going there now. Wherever you think, we'll get the best picks from down here. Nice. We're at the base of the Stanwell Creek Viaduct. We're getting the last drone shots. And then we're going to head and do the Grand Pacific Walk, the old Lawrence Hargrave Drive Road, before we head down. Oh, Trying to get it. Oh. Yeah, Andrew's had, um, when we were up in, uh, towards Lithgow, Andrew had a few problems with uh, eagles and stuff like that chasing it. Oh, you're taking pictures too. Near that freight train on the lower track too. There's a state rail access track coming from Coaldale Station. And we're going to head back up the stairs and walk south north to Stanwell Park Station. We've just had a freight train come up above and Mavericks is flying the drone right up on top of the train. I dare say he would get would have got some spectacular shots with that. I'm very interested to see that when he goes home and downloads that. Brilliant. We weren't even waiting for a train to come. It just happened to, happened to uh, roll roll along the tracks just as he was up there. All right, bring him down, and let's head on off. We have just come back from the viaduct along the service track. Actually, lost my glasses in that shit pit. You getting these Rambo cars? Yeah, I'm getting your Rambo cars. <laughs> well done. Oh, it's crawling up. And no one's stupid enough to be out in this weather. 
37 degrees. We're breathing in smoke. Reckon that house up there's got a nice view? Yeah, I reckon it would. You're not going to see it on that camera. You don't think so? No. 4 megapixel. <laughs> you think about it, the Sony Ericsson phone was the first ca uh, uh, camera phone that came out in 2004 5. 1 megapixel, 1 shot pictures. So this is not far off a 1 megapixel. 4, four is not a hell of a lot. Okay, so that little underground tunnel is to get you on the other side of the tracks. So I didn't realise that. Because I'm thinking, how would you get on the other side there? Is there a car park beyond there? There's a retaining wall there. How do you reckon it's down on the other side? People go. Oh, yeah. Debris coming down. Looks like a bush track. There is a sign over there saying something. Do not enter. It's a big sign just to say, do not enter. It's facing away from us. How good your eyes. That's the weighty weighty track. That's the, yeah, track. That's, the, that's the track that me and Jules got lost on. So if you head along there, that takes you to the, the viaduct and it takes you all the way down to Coaldale. I haven't come across a tap to clean these glasses. Okay, we're exiting Stanwell Park Railway Station and there's the sign saying weighty weighty track. Welcome to Stanwell Park. Welcome to Stanwell Park. Well that's a wrap for the viaduct 2.0. Another train's coming. That's rock and roll. Beautiful. We've just parked here at Colcliffe, where me and Jules were parked uh, probably about a month ago. We took a few pictures of this, would you believe, where thongs grow. And we're going to go have a look at some of the brand thongs. So we've got Havianas, Brazil, they look like they're all Havianas, Billabong. Good day, matey. No, nah, that's right. I hung them on the on the uh, branch there. They'll be we last. We're using zip ties now because it's turned into spare parts. <laughs> <laughs> when do, how they how? The yoke on their thong and they go. Oh, oh what colour? <laughs> how old is it? <laughs> how how long has it been going for? Oh. Right. Oh. Yeah. Was it just a local yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So for as long as you can remember, it's been the thong. Oh no 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 no! It started after the bridge. Oh, after the Seacliff Bridge. What happened, what happened was we couldn't work out why, when the bridge opened, uh, why all the shoes and thongs were underneath this tree. And it was one night, uh, my son and I had been diving around in the second rock there and um, come back and we got into the shed and he said, Dad, I I dog shit all in between my toes. Because it was so cold, we were just running. Yeah. yeah. Didn't have time to smell it. And then that <laughs> night, uh, he was staying with his girlfriend, and um, <laughs> he was up here in a brand new Porsche, and we thought he was abusing his 